Hey everybody, it's Krista here with Cincy Photo Pro, and I want to go over how our processes work and how to use our shoot proof galleries when we send you a link to view your photos. So I'm going to go ahead and start by sharing my screen. All right, so when I send you an email with a gallery link, it's going to take you to a page similar to this. Um, with the, it is through our shoot proof account, so uh, you may need to check your spam folder. Occasionally it gets put there, unfortunately. But go ahead and click open gallery. You're gonna enter your email address, and it's best to open it with the email address that um, you corresponded with. That way, sometimes I grant extra permissions um, to be able to kind of label your photos and stuff like that, and usually I just do access code one, two, three, four, five, six. I have to do a six digit number and I want it to keep it as simple as possible. So um, that I don't have the option for this tutorial to kind of show you that, but here we go. So you're gonna go view your photos and it's gonna take you to a page where you kind of get to go through all your images. Granted, I usually give you more than what um, is included in your package so that you have some choices. You get to select your images and then any advanced editing that it needs to be done, like blemish removal or um, just cleaning up something in the background, that sort of thing, I can do after you've made your selection. The simplest way to make your selection is to hover over your images and click the star that favorites your images or if you double click the image, it's larger, you click right here, it says favorite. So you go through and choose your favorite images. So maybe like that one, and then you can go down here and say, okay, I've got enough of those selections. I wanna pick one from outside. So here's one I like from outside, click favorite. Um, let's say we pick one at the desk. I kind of like that one. And I like some at the end, so let's go. I like some of these, so let's pick this one, for example. So then um, you can go back to your gallery and click up here, it says favorites and all your choices are here. If you decide you don't want this one, for example, you click the star and it goes away. So once you've made your selection, say you get 10 or you get 30 images from your, your session, you make sure you have that many in your gallery and then you just say, or send me a message saying I made my selection. Then I can see that on the back end. If you're interested in ordering prints or additional, um, digital images, then you would click the buy package. Here's a uh, buy package. The packages are gonna be my specials going on right now. And then you click learn more if you want to go through prints, digital images, canvases, metals, products, specials, um, things like that. All right, so you would just click, say you want a, um, Oh, go back. I really like the package options. Usually that's going to be your best deal. So if you select this, what's really cool is say, I want this image as a five by seven. I want this one as an eight by 10. I want this one as five by seven. Let's say you click it and then you add it to cart. All right. And then there's your items in your cart. So um, pretty simple, if you are doing a digital package, then usually it only lets you allow, allows you to select one. So say you buy a, you want um, 30 images, you wanna upgrade from 10 images to 30, then you would wanna favorite 30 images and just select any of those random images when placing the gallery. So let's go back to, um, so say you want to buy a digital package, you're gonna actually go to items, digital media, and say you want the, um, 
30 did, or 15 individual image package, 8 by 10 print release. You click this. It's only going to allow you to select one image, so you would add that to cart knowing that you get 15 images. Then you favorite your 15 images, and then, I, then I'll use that as which images you want. You can also write down, there's file numbers right here. If it's more simple for you, you can write down those file numbers and email that to me as well. So pretty simple and straightforward. I love these galleries because I feel like it makes it pretty simple for everybody. Um, and then if you sign into your correct with your correct email, if you need to go back to your gallery and want the saving or these settings of things in your cart and your favorites all saved, you go to that same email and no password needed. You just need to have that email in there. Um, and so it kind of Usually you'll have some type of little message on the info page. And then you can always contact here. Here's all my contact information right here. So you'll have my phone number, my email address um, to make it pretty simple to send me those messages if for some reason you forget or can't find my email or something like that. So um, pretty simple. If you have any questions or you find this helpful, please comment below or send me a message and I'll be glad to help. Thank you guys.